What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we go to our favorite campground, Pocahontas State Park. Actually, we're coming here for a meetup this time with the Just Camp Facebook group. More details on that later from Maya, but right now I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of the campground. As I back in, uh, one of the gentlemen from the group actually helped me back in because uh, I was all by myself waiting on Maya. Okay, so I had to set up early without her. But anyway, I had some help and I uh, got all set up and now let the vlog commence. Let's go. Hello. Hi, how's it going? All right, all right, how's it going? <laughs> Good. So we are here at one of our favorite spots to camp, Pocahontas State Park. But this time is a little bit different. We are meeting up with a group of people that we linked up with on Facebook. This group has been coming out for quite some time. They do two trips every year and we just heard about it and it was like pretty much in our backyard. So we decided to tag along. Unfortunately, I am super sick. <laughs> um, I'm struggling and um, I'm gonna try to participate from a distance as much as I can, but it took everything in me just to get up and get dressed. The weather's calling for rain, but apparently Mark, the guy who uh, organized this event, actually got one of the yurts um, back over there. I don't know if you can see it over there somewhere. If it rains, we're just going to set up shop in the yurt, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to start helping Henry offload. How was it leveling, babe? It's done. It's done. So uh, Henry put duct tape back on the front cap. Yeah, if anybody saw our last video, yeah, uh, we had a little bit of a damp evening. Yeah. Well, morning. Well, late night. It was moist. Yeah. Am I the only one that uh, is disturbed by the word moist? It just bothers me, but I'm trying to embrace it. Like yesterday, I wanted some moist cake. You got that word stuck in your head. I know that. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird how some words just like make you uncomfortable. Moist is definitely one of those words for me. Anyway, he retaped the front cap and we are going to hopefully stay dry. But weather is calling for rain. So we'll see what happens. There are a lot of things. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to go inside now. First thing I always do whenever we get to a campsite is give Henry his beer. Makes him a happy camper. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you open it already? Yeah. You're cheating. No, I didn't drink any. I don't want to get you sick, man. Oh yeah, you got the bug. You got a bug. Buggy bug. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just about done. Gotta put the grill out. I mean the uh, blackstone out. Which might or might not get used it's gonna get used babe <laughs> i don't care how sick i am i'm gonna use it i swear all right guys so i think maya told you guys we're at our favorite camping spot pocahontas state park and finally got it all squared away got the rv nice and straight and level got the little mat and chairs out got the little gazebo sorry gazelle tent out which y'all yeah, know camping season has truly started we are expecting a little bit of rain, so that's another reason we put the gazebo out. We got our black stone out. Don't know if it's gonna get used. We'll see, Maya's not feeling that well. So I might be the one having to do some cooking today. And here's the back view. Oh, and I got the external dump tote here because we do not have full hookups. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using that. We're gonna be here roughly around three to four days. So we're not sure yet if we're gonna stay the fourth day but we'll see so that's our situation here not too shabby uh, hopefully mother nature will cooperate and you know not uh hurt us too bad i'm really starting to believe that it is the window that leaks because on our last trip i actually removed the old duct tape because it was kind of peeling off and it really wasn't blocking any water so once i removed that duct tape i noticed a lot more water coming into the rv so I'm still uh, uncertain, but I'm pretty sure I think it is coming from the window. I actually walked the rooftop to see if there was any type of breaches or breaks in the caulking along the ridge of the front cap right there. That ridge goes all the way across. I didn't see any points of entry, but uh, I don't know. We got a trip planned to Indiana in a couple weeks and see if we can get it all squared away. Hopefully, cross our fingers, that'll be the last of it.
like there's a lot of folks out here offering beverages, the adult kind, and I'm dry as a bone, and I want to be able to um, offer some folks some beverages too. Let's go see if we can find some craft brew. This is VA, y'all, so you you know I'm gonna find something good. If they have any blue moon, oh, they got some uh, some devil's backbone. I got my little IPA and I got a little little something light for Maya. She should like these little look a little lights. Mission accomplished. As you can see now I got the Yeti nice and stocked. I got the IPAs and everything in there cool. And uh yeah. Hopefully uh we can share a few of those with some folks. Now it's time to eat. This is nice. A romantic keto dinner. Cool. So we got broccoli, some turkey yeah. crumbles, and uh, onions, and some salad. Yeah. Let's have some Greek. Art artichoke and feta. Ooh, pretty nice. And I'm sick. I'm impressed. Hey guys, so, um, as you guys know, I'm pretty under the weather and um, I just decided to kind of camp out in the camper. Um, Henry had to run out and uh, run a few errands, but I was really concerned because it's been raining nonstop for hours and we are surrounded by trees. And ever since that Adventure Bandits video where the tree came down on their rig, I've been so scared <laughs> to camp under trees and I kept waking up last night thinking oh my god what if those trees come down because it's so wet out here and I kid you not I wish I would have had the camera going about five minutes ago one of those huge trees I heard like these loud popping sounds and the trees a huge massive tree started coming down now luckily it didn't come towards us right in front of us I don't know if you can see that yurt it barely missed the yurt and I see the park patrol has showed up, but again, they are like so lucky that it didn't hit the yurt. I really thought when it came down that it was going to, and it it's supposed to rain um, like for the next, I don't know, 12 to 24 hours. So I don't know. I'm like freaking out a little bit, kind of feeling like we're dodging a bullet here. I love trees, but not under these conditions. Let me see if I can get a better look. Disregard our leaky window. It was so loud too. I guess they left um, since there was no real damage done. I mean, maybe this thing happens, this sort of thing happens all the time, but <sighs> that was super scary. Super duper scary. What is going on guys? We've had a long wet night. And yeah, the duct tape eh, didn't really work. <laughs> Still haven't figured that out, but uh, whatever. And Maya is under the weather, feeling bad, feeling worse. So I don't even know. I don't even know if this video is gonna make it <laughs> to the channel. But anyway, uh, I wasn't here. I was out running some errands and Maya told me that a tree fell right next to our site, but out in the front in the woods so i'm over here trying to find this tree oh is it this one okay we got a lot of rain a lot of rain this one looks like it's leaning this way <laughs> maybe uh i shouldn't be standing here i don't know if you can tell but the branches from this other tree here are holding that one up right here which is kind of leaning this way but we're definitely far enough away that we wouldn't be affected unless unless it knocks down some other trees so uh, this is a uh, pretty interesting here. <sighs> I will keep y'all posted on that one, but I'm gonna get the hell out of Dodge. This is the yurt nearby that tree. 
that uh, we were supposed to have a little gathering here, but they might have shut it down. I'm not sure. You can get a real good view of the tree here. Yeah, it's a big one. These trees are tall, y'all. Look at this. They're kind of tall as redwoods, but not really. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all saw that menu. I'm trying to be good out here, so Maya talked me out of it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and cook something in the camp for us since uh, she's not feeling well. So yeah, she talked me out of it. So you know, it is what it is. All right, y'all. So I'm on my way to yurt number two. It looks like they moved the party to yurt two, which is right over here. I'm um, looking at the trees. I'm not that excited, but uh, Lord, help us out here and keep us safe. Anyway, let's see if we can meet some more folks over here at the yurt. Hey, I'm here with the Facebook hey, group. That's what Sula got. Right? Is your Where's wife Mia? Huh? Is your wife Mia? Maya. I need to make sure no trees are around. Uh, this one looks a little sus right there. Trying to make sure, make sure we're good over here. It's a little dangerous out here in these RV streets. So here is a yurt. I don't know if anyone has ever seen one of these from the inside. But it's, I haven't either other than through a window. So yeah, this is what it looks like from the inside, guys. This thing is pretty darn cool. You know? Look at this. It's spacious. The bed is a little bit hard and there's no power here. But so. well, there's something good happening right there. Yeah. There's something real good happening right now. Good morning guys, so I'm out here trying to meet up with the Just Camp group to do a little morning hike. I got my little workout in, but you know, I'm feeling energetic today. The rain has subsided, so let's see if we can find a crew and go for a little, little hike today. Wow, taking a little water break. So I think we're doing a three mile little hike, so this should be fun. Look fresh. Somebody's definitely feeling better. She out here actually getting her hands dirty. Uh, not my real hands, I got gloves on. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I'm about to wash this chicken. I made like a little bag of marinade. Like there's like seasoning and stuff in there. So did you decide what we're having? So we're doing Chipotle do, like, bowls. style bowls? Yeah. Rice, rice and chicken? Yeah. Okay, that'd be good on a Blackstone. Yeah, I'll just get this uh, chicken cleaned up. Marinate it for like at least an hour or two. Can you, can you wait that long to eat? We'll see. If you hear sirens, then <laughs> you know I didn't make it. 
Oh my God, <laughs> so dramatic. So just in case you're wondering what kind of wood I'm using, I actually filled this bucket up after cleaning up one of our rental properties, which is pretty much covered in trees, just like a state park. And they were just limbs everywhere. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna burn this. But these are all dead limbs that fell off the tree. You know, I didn't chop anything up or anything like that. And it's burning pretty good. Burning fast. I dried it out for a couple weeks in my garage. I got a couple buckets of these. My goal was to just at least burn one bucket on this trip. So yeah, I'm uh, halfway towards my goal here. All right guys, so while the chicken is marinating, I'm sitting outside and I'm gonna go on TikTok and try to find a good cilantro rice recipe. I have a ton of uh, herbs left over and I kind of want some cilantro rice. I have a taste for it. I am not sure how many of you guys like TikTok if you don't watch our videos. Um, I'm a huge TikTok fan. Henry, not so much. <laughs> He thinks TikTok is like all dances and silly stuff. I mean, there is a lot of silly stuff on there, but there's also a lot of good content, um, recipes, tutorials, things like that. So cilantro. Hey guys. All right, so I'm just gonna scroll through a couple of these and see which ones I like and see um, which one is compatible with the uh, ingredients that we have in the camper. And then I'll get to cooking. All right, y'all, I'm going to try to cook some chicken for my first time on the Blackstone. <laughs> so uh, we will see how this goes. Um, I'm not really a cook, so hopefully uh, this will work out. <laughs> Could use a little more flavor, but we could season it later. Yeah, no, it's good. Tender, right? Mm-hmm. All right, y'all, as you can see, it looked pretty good. The consistency was good on the chicken, but it just needed a little bit more seasoning. But y'all could blame my wife for the whole seasoning situation. That's how her. Unfortunately, this was the last day of our Just Camp group meetup. This group was so cool, guys. We shared food, booze, stories, laughs, tips. If you're in the DMV, you might want to consider joining this group. Over here, Mark was trying to get all of us together for a group photo. And I hope we could do this again next year. And I hope to see you there. Have a good one, folks. Peace.